we've got plenty to come because we have our final speaker and I'm delighted to say that we have the world's biggest charging infrastructure company represented here, ChargePoint. Um, our speaker from ChargePoint is Sander van der Veen, who is director of Benelux in the Nordics. As a kid, Sander always wanted to be an astronaut, <laughs> um, up to the point where he did an internship at the Japanese version of NASA, which is uh, JAXA in Tokyo. Um, space is fascinating, but Sander decided there were more urgent problems to solve down here on Earth with the climate and the environment, and he wanted to use his skills to contribute to that. The turning point for him um, to start working in the energy transition business uh, was when he lived in Jakarta uh, two years ago, where he experienced firsthand uh, what it's like to live in a gridlocked city with millions of fuming cars polluting the air. Outside of work, Sander is passionate about cycling, snowboarding, sailing, and now raising his one-year-old daughter as well. A very warm welcome to the summit, Sander. So why are you here today? And why has Oxford City Council organized this summit? And why have you been listening to this panel just now? I think you are here because you care. You care about the climate, you care about society, and you care about doing something that really makes a difference. And last week in the news, I saw a photo, and you must have seen it as well, I think, from, uh, taken by a Danish climatologist in Greenland, who was positioned on a sled that was pulled forward by huskies, which is very environmentally friendly, by the way. But you would expect that that's a normal sight while he's tra traversing a frozen lake. Except in this case, the lake was covered in a 20 centimeter layer of water. And that's really unprecedented um, for, for Greenland at this uh, stage of the year. And um, it really shows that if we continue down this path as humanity, that by the end of this century, the world will look a whole lot different than we uh, are used to today. And to quote uh, Elon Musk on this, by taking trillions of tons of carbon from underground and putting them in the atmosphere, we are conducting the dumbest experiment in human history. And I cannot agree more. I was born in the 80s, and if I'm lucky, I'll make it through the middle of the century. And at the moment, I think the only thing we, or I really experience is, the window to go skiing is, is narrowing during winter. And as I already um, announced just now, my one-year-old daughter will actually most likely make it to the end of the century. Um, and I really wonder, especially coming from a uh, country below sea level, as I do, if she will live the same life uh, as I do. Yet, you have the power to change that. As a consumer, you can buy and drive an electric vehicle. And as a manager, you can electrify your fleets or install charging stations on your premises. And I think as a government, government uh, uh, agent or uh, uh, representative, you can enact policies to curb carbon uh, emissions. Um, having joined this industry four years ago, it wasn't really clear yet. But today, the debate is really over. The future of mobility is going to be electric. And we, as ChargePoint, uh, are here to help. We've been around for many years, started in 2006 in Silicon Valley, and now we're also active in, in, uh, in Europe. And our Silicon Valley engineers can develop the greatest products that, that, we, that they can think of. So we are developing charging stations, AC, DC, high power, as well as backend solutions. And um, we also committed to having two, two and a half million charging stations installed by 2025. You know, it all sounds great, but it doesn't mean anything if we as industry leaders don't cooperate to really make this happen, to really roll this out. Um, we do see, fortunately, that uh, market, market forces are converging. We've seen an announcement from, uh, uh, from the UK uh, with a 2050 target to be carbon uh, neutral, which is great. And um, the various OEMs outside Tesla are also moving. So I was very happy to hear BMW today and yesterday announced that they are accelerating their plans for EVs by two years. Um, and we also see fleets electrifying. Uh, we just heard IKEA going, uh, going electric, so very good. So it is happening, it is really happening, and it will lead to a massive EV adoption. But the question is, how, re how fast does it really go? Now, we've, we've been here before many, many times as a society. Um, new technologies happen all, are introduced all the time, over and over again. And I've been, uh, I'm old enough to have experienced that with the internet, with the mobile phone, and with the smartphone. 
the typical uh, adoption curves. Now, we can't really draw it out yet for EV because we're living right through it. But I think there are clear indicators that we're moving into a very high acceleration mode. And uh, I think a very clear case in point is if you look at the EV sales, cumulative EV sales in the US, it's an animation you might have seen yourself on the internet. If you look at it from 2010 to now, you see a kind of a linear growth of various EV models being sold, different brands entering the market. But something special happened about um, 18 months ago. And that's when Tesla launched their, their Model 3. And I really believe if you have the right product market fit, which means an attractive car with a good range and a good price, and we, we, we see it, the market will explode. And in these 18 months, Tesla managed to be the top selling cumulative sales uh, brand in the US. So that's what com what's coming at us with all these new, also lower end EV models being introduced in the coming years. Um, what does it mean for us? It means for us that we need to build the charging network. Uh, we need to continue doing that. And uh, we have been doing that. We've installed thousands of charge points at homes, at workplaces, and in the UK particularly uh, via our partner InstaVault. We've rolled out quite a significant public network by now. Um, yet it does take uh, an entire ecosystem to, to, to make this change. So we need to work together with the, the, the retailers, the, the landowners. Um, as well as the utilities need to make sure that the power uh, of the grid is there and is, is available. Um, but there is really no time to lose. There is no time to lose. We need to move now and we need to move today. And I really invite anyone who's interested to have a chat with me uh, maybe after this panel session to discuss how we can uh, accelerate this transition. Thank you.